Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on this thing. Not all those minifigures or anything else in the back. I'm going to be doing a review on this contraption I made out of some spare parts for my Lego collection. But, I'm talking a little um, softer because it is um, 11.40pm right now. So I may be, if I say anything wrong, Can't you can't roast me because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on the octane right now. Because it's 11.40 in the morning. So, not in the morning, p.m. So, yeah, um, here, this contraption, I built, first, I need to connect that part on it, I, I needed to get a good shot of the first picture for my, um, thumbnail, so, um, I, you know, made it a little lower so the camera could catch it, but that is what it looks like from up high. And if, if I had it like how I kept it, how I showed you guys, then what it's used for would not have worked. But if you don't know what this is, because I didn't tell you, this is a headphone holder. As you can see, here are my headphones. Um, don't really use these ones, but, um, um, I don't really use this one, but... I thought it would be easier to use this ones for use these ones for these headphone user for the headphone stand because they're a lot smaller than my other ones and my beats and then and um it has a wire so I wanted because you can mostly find wire if you want to build a stand for this let's just say that it'll be a lot easier and simpler to do it with wire with wire because this convention. This, um, invention part right here, this clip was supposed to be where I was supposed to, like, my idea was I clip my wire on like that. But when my wire is too small, this is a small wire, because these are small headphones, and that's why it just makes it easier. But, since I did show you the top, there's another little portion back there, just like the front, same size, that holds <clears throat> the wire. Um, I will show you how it holds the wire in one moment, but before we do that, let's just show you the, um, like some of the building techniques, techniques I use for this. So I'm going to bring it down because I'm not using it right now, but here's how I'm going to bring it down. And as I was saying before, um, it, it would be, my headphones would be too big. For a stand this uh, this short, but I just wanted to show you the building technique of um, the top portion. So, um, so for the bottom here, um, what I did is I used two. I used two one by four thin bricks and put it put um, a four studs on this two by four thick plate connecting it not to the top but to the bottom like that and then once i did that i um once i did that i connected it to this long base plate and let me show you pretty much what this base plate is here's this base plate here's what it looks like it is two four by four um, square pieces put together just by a um, two by four, a two by four thick brick. And then once I did that, put that together, I used um, some more two by four, um, not two by four, two by, oh God, one by four bricks and put them together like that and then took this part that I showed you earlier and connected it like that because it was too short at first for my idea. So then what I did is I put another t another one by four at the very very um very very end of that, and then what I did is I took two two by four. Oh God, two by four. You get it? It's two two by four um thick bricks, and I put it on the back here lastly I take um, 
a um one by four brick and put it right there that separates them into two equal um equal columns and that's pretty much like how you build this because the other stuff is pretty self-explanatory you just stack bricks however high you want and you just stack the bricks up however high you want you don't really have to add this like i did because unless your headphones actually work for this because you have to make modifications that fit your headphones so like my headphones they didn't work the wire was too small but I'm not going to remove that. Um, I'll just, you know, keep that there. I'm not really doing anything. So, mine, I decided to make this big. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Take one of these. Wait, let me just... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you take the 8 by 16. I was just counting how many studs that were. That, that is, um, but you take the 8x16 base plate, and you flip it around this way, and then what I did, I didn't want to put it all the way to the back, I kind of wanted to give it some room, so I put it, so I left that much of space, a, um, really, it's a, um, 2x4 gap, because you're only counting really that much. So, yeah, I left it like that, and I just showed you guys how to build the holster part, but you have to make this, um, like, you have to make this modified for your, for the size of your headphones. Like, my headphones, it worked at, like, a smaller thing, a smaller degree, because, if I were to use my beats, um, if I were to use those, my beats, then, my beats, then, um, I would do. I would need to do be doing a lot of modification, but these are pretty small headphones. And now I'm going to show you the wire part. This is supposed to be pretty short. Oh my god! This is the this only part I don't like about that is when you have your headphones on, and if you have like a wire or something, you have to be like really quick with the wire because, as you can see, it's already like starting to lean. So, oh god, you have to, um, you have to put the, you have to do it quite fast, to, and you have to know the right way to do it, because I put my headphones in the wrong way, oh god, this is just turning into a mess, my camera already fell, fell once at the stand, move it over a little bit, and then, take your headphones, put it like this, and then, wrap it, Oh no. Okay, I have to take it off anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm doing a, a lot of extra stuff, like I'm wrapping. I'm wrapping the wire of my headphones through this other column that I built and stand, so I won't have to worry about the wire going everywhere when, when you want to use, when you just want to put down, set down your headphones. Here we go. There. That was actually pretty simple, but it just kind of didn't work when I wanted to do it the correct way. So here's how it looks with my wire on it. So it actually does not look too bad, but it kind of, my headphones, they do like move, move different ways. As you can see, this one, it's not breaking or anything. It's just that the wire, I, you know, twisted the wire around on the top of here. And the wire is pulling the headphone that way. It's pulling the headphone right. And, um, yeah, that's actually pretty much it for this fan. I don't really know much to say. It's kind of leaning over right now. But you can see some of the color scheming I did. I started with a pattern of blue, of white, blue, white, blue. Um, then I didn't have any more white or blue, I'm assuming. Well, I didn't have any more blue, I'm assuming. And then I just decided to do white, yellow, and then a whole bunch more white. And then I did an started another pattern, blue, brown, blue. And then I guess I didn't have any more blue. Wait, wait. I don't get it because I have brown here. So why didn't I just put brown? Okay, I don't really know, but I don't have time for 
color scheming, I still have to, you know, upload this video, make another video, upload that video, and then, you know, go to sleep. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel, show some support, and make sure you join the Lego pack.